Yeah, fellas, this is for that brother that's on my uh, channel that uh, was siding with that Caucasian fella. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, the percentage of blacks on welfare when you look at the total blacks uh, is really high. But you need to look do your own research. Okay, what happened to us since the '60s? Why are there more blacks than ever before on welfare? But also when um, the racially motivated people start talking about, you know, we've got to get the blacks and, and Mexicans off welfare, you also need to learn real stats, okay? You look at the total number of, of white folks on welfare versus black folks, their number is, is higher because there's more of them, you know. When you're talking about 38% uh, uh, white folks are, on, uh, are getting, rather are receiving uh, the welfare dollars, you know, of the big piece of pie, 38% of them, you know, go to white folks, 39-something uh, percent go to black folks, and, you know, the rest of the pie is divided up, you know, amongst the rest. Uh, we can't forget the other, other parts of the pie, though, okay? That's why I put up that video, all right? Because uh, I went out and did some actual research to get the actual numbers. I believe in researching things. Uh, there's some kid on my Facebook channel that's been listening to Alex Jones for news mm. and he lives in Canada and he's wor I, guess, I think he must be worried about uh, people trying to you know these idiots trying to pull back from the states you know that nonsense crybabies type shit and uh, I think he must be worried that war break out and it might spill over into Canada or something I don't know why he's worried about what's going on here but I, I guess that's what what's going on it kind of cracks me up that people in other countries, you know, they other countries watch what's going on in America. We're like the center of the world. Uh, they they model themselves after us in in some instances, like uh, blacks in Africa. You know, they they watch us what we're doing over here. Okay. Uh, also in UK, all over. You know, they watch what black people are doing over here. So I I can see that, and I can see maybe that's why he's worried about what's going on down here, but. What you guys don't see is just a group of citizens that are complaining. And they have valid points, but what the pe I'm trying to get across to these knuckleheads is you got to learn to look behind the scenes. Okay? Do your own research. Don't listen to some jackass on a radio, Republican radio station, yelling the blacks, yelling the blacks and mixing all on welfare and shit like that. Don't listen to those motherfuckers. Do your own research. Okay? Like I put up. I put up real research. Real facts and figures. And then we had, you know, I had some white guy come in. And, well, look at the percentage of blacks on welfare. Then thumb down the video. See, truth hurts. Truth hurts. Some people, they can't handle the truth. If you can't handle the truth, then don't do the real research. But if you look at what's going on behind the scenes... What you guys don't see are the racially motivated people. Their whole issue is race. That's what the people I'm targeting. I'm not targeting the people that just don't like Obama's policies. Like, I don't like some of his policies either. But I'm not targeting. I'm going to talk about them. They're not, they're not even aware of who's behind all this nonsense that's going on. Okay? Uh, I put up a Colonel Wilkerson. One fellow said, uh, who is he? I guess they didn't realize he was a colonel, retired colonel in the army, and he's also an active Republican. He actually works there. He actually works behind the scenes. What this other knucklehead light bulb didn't see. You know, this guy's actually out there doing the work of Republicans. You know, doing all this shit. He's not some guy that's sitting at home or driving his car, listening to a Republican radio station. He's actually there. He's inside, and he said that uh, uh, they have the, the largest number of racists within the Republican network. Both sides have racists, but the Republicans, whoo, they're that old boy network. And they're the ones who are behind this whole, let's withdraw from the, the union. We want to petition the union withdraw. It's a bunch of crybabies. Get the fuck over it. The race is over. Grow the fuck up. You know, it, it's kind of funny. Most people have, have um, uh, a negative outlook on everything. All they see is doom and gloom. 
the, at the worst part of the recession, or the trouble, or the trouble we've been having, the finance trouble we've been having, I was watching a um, a workshop put out by uh, Vidros Krulian. He's a um, Armenian guy, and he's in my industry, the uh, personal training industry. And the number of people that stood up during the worst parts, they're making over a hundred thousand, was just phenomenal. These are just personal trainers, like me. You know, you could get a client, you train them, you send them home. Make it over 100000 in the worst part of this whole financial trouble. These are people that, that saw, saw a way when other people just can't see. No way. And I know there's going to be some knuckleheads going to, would have built this tax rate. It, it destroys my incentive to make more money. Right. You always will find some whiners. No matter where you go, there's always those type that just can't, just can't see past the shit. Just can't see past anything. Whiners. That's why you find them in the game, too. They think, you know, that mountain there, which is really a molehill, is something they can't surpass. Like, I don't know how to talk to girls. I don't know how to work on my body. I don't know how to dress. I don't know how to dance. You saw, I saw that in the early parts of the PUA thing. When they were saying, don't go to clubs. Clubs are the worst place. Now we know the truth. The clubs are actually the best place to meet women. Because that's where women go to actually meet dudes. Just because these, case in point, just because... These knuckleheads who were shouting this shit could not dance. They felt intimidated going to the clubs. Just like the uh, good Republicans out there are listening to these, these people who are, you know, that old school stuff. That stuff that we don't even need in society anymore. You know, black people are inferior. Black people are on welfare. Black people are low and all that shit. Those people, they're actually dying out. And they're hanging on to the last vestiges of, of their hate. They're behind all the nonsense, okay? Don't get it twisted. There are good Republicans out there, and they're, they're listening to their leaders, their so-called leaders. So when one of their leaders came out and said, racists, then you should open your eyes and start looking for some real information. Who's actually the one who's, our, who's sponsoring these um, petitions? Who started the shit? Don't be sheep, left brain sheep, robot people. Open your eyes and start looking for stuff. Don't listen to Alex Jones news. Come on. It's just because some guy put on a suit and tie and they put a, a you know, some shit behind him. And he's saying, he's saying that, um, that, that the reason is not because it's racially motivated. Oh, God, I can't believe how stupid some people are. Mm, mm, mm. But most of the people that fall for this stuff, they don't bother to do their own research. They just listen to someone that sounds good. I'm trying to wake you guys up, okay? Wake up the truth of life, just like in the game. Wake up the truth of what really works in the game. I'm trying to wake you guys the fuck up. Do your own research. You'll find that I'm right. Okay? So don't get the shit twisted, fellas.